So we've just been to the vet today and uh, poor old Sev, the life of a trail dog, is well and truly catching up to him. So he seems okay for now, but uh, that back left leg, he's ruptured his cruciate ligament and the front left is not too sure, but it seems like it's wear and tear and uh, just, yeah, he's just going to have to deal with it. We're getting some treatment over the next couple of weeks, some uh, laser treatment and some other some other stuff that gets injected into the body that's supposed to help with inflammation. So I'll get a bit more information on that as we go along. But just an idea that if you've got a trail dog, no one rides for free. You, you've got a dog that's running down hills constantly. I wish I had my time again. I wouldn't be anywhere near as uh, nonchalant about it. So Sev's run downhill runs with me ever since he was a pup. So the, his first real trail run would have been maybe a year old, maybe just under a year old, and he's never had any issues with his paws, he's never had any issues with his legs, he's been a really, really good free runner, been super healthy. He turns 10 next week, the 29th of uh, June, he turns 10, and uh, it's just taken its toll. So now, I mean, I'm not gonna get the surgery. The, uh, the I went and saw a really good vet, the Angle Park vet, who's a greyhound guy, so super switched on. Shout out to that dude, he was, uh, he was quite honest up front and yeah, he gave me the knowledge that I needed. So uh, he's going to go with, some, with, with this treatment that he's, it's, it's an alternative to surgery obviously. And he believes that it's, yeah, it's going to give him good, good quality of life. He'll still be limpy and whatever, but, but less limpy and more, just more free. I don't want to see the, the poor bugger in pain, you know, like... Everyone who's got a dog knows that it's it's just sad when you see your you see your dog suffering, see your best mate suffering. It's it's just no good. And yeah, this is my fault. This is my I kind of encouraged him to do all this stuff. How you going, Seth? So he's good. He's happy. He's he's free. But when he's sore, he's really really sore. So think twice if you've got a trail dog about how much you put him through, and uh, yeah, when they get five or six. Maybe maybe button it off a little bit. We didn't stop running until he was nearly eight, probably eight years old. So when he was eight was his last real trail run. And uh, maybe even nine, maybe, probably eight. Yeah, he was probably eight. We haven't been for a trail ride for probably a good year. Uh, so there is downsides to having a trail dog. So look after your dog, be kind and have a think about the repercussions of later just same as us right you know if, if you're a human being and you've run all your life especially if you've run with poor posture your joints will be flogged to be destroyed if you if you can control your posture and keep good muscle balance and tension and and all, all the other stuff then you're fairly healthy and you can do it without too much damage but uh yeah i mean he's a boxer so they're known for hip and leg issues not that he ever had any he's really really healthy but like I said before, nobody rides for free and, and Sev's paying the price for a lifetime of fun. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that and uh, give you guys an update of what's going on. He's all good. No surgery, but uh, pretty intensive therapy for a couple of weeks of uh, this, this laser stuff. And, and uh, yeah, I'd have to find out some more information on it. But for now, look after your dogs because they're super important and... Uh, yeah, this dude, I love him, and I don't want him seeing. Yeah, I don't want to see him suffering. So, look after your dogs.